Whenever we have our picture taken, some of us fuss over how we look, right? We hope for a good hair day or we think a certain angle is our best. Now imagine seeing your photo and thinking that outward appearance doesn't match who you are inside. The True ID Project hopes to empower trans men and women through photography. They recently stopped in Orlando to snap portraits of them to reflect who they really are. You can look right here to the lens for me. The, uh, the amount of resources that I have in play here today, this is something that I would utilize if I was doing a national ad campaign. Uh, bring your chin up a little bit for me. Harry Aaron is no stranger to big budget photo shoots. So my background is a combination of sports, portraits, advertising. I've been fortunate to work with companies like WeWork, Peloton, the WWE, uh, Body Armor, the drink company. And one, two, three. It's brought me a, a really a wealth of experience uh, behind the camera and getting a better understanding of how to make people feel comfortable in front of it. Aaron is focused on using that expertise to help everyone at this photo shoot feel confident being their true selves. Do you have a side of your face that you prefer for photos? He's taking these portraits at a studio in Orlando for the True ID project, which he coordinated. I will be helping uh, both mask and femme presenting transgender individuals, both in Florida and hopefully beyond, uh, get portraits taken that really reflect their true ID, their true identity. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> it really enlightened me and it brought me back to some of the good times in my past life. Some of the photos like, wow, that's, that's, that, that's, not, that's not me. It's like, that looks like somebody else. And it's like, I'm really impressed. And it's like, it's so cool. Jazz's curiosity brought her here. And now she has a keepsake from the day to hold on to. And what are you gonna do with your pictures when you receive them? I don't know right now. I just probably admire them as I, you know, and, and show some, some uh, uh, associates or a peer support group or something like that. It means a lot for me to be able to, you know, meet people and hear a bit of their story and be able to send them off with something that makes them feel good. The, the lighting is really nice right now. If I'm trying to help people, you know, feel like they are embodying who they who they truly are. That takes a team. That takes hair. That takes makeup. I'm Tiffany. It's so nice to meet you. Tiffany Barroso is the owner of Orlando Bridal Makeup. I actually saw Harry's post on Instagram. Um, a friend forwarded it to me, and it was so special. And I knew I had to be a part of it. I'm gonna start with this eye primer, and what it's gonna do is just hold that uh, eyeshadow. You live in the Tampa area now. Yes. This is a Saturday. You're doing this for free. I mean, wh why did you decide to do this? Oh my gosh, I mean, um, I mean, I'm gonna get emotional, but I think it's just so important for somebody to feel like they can represent who they are um, without hiding it, you know, without feeling scared or worried or um, feeling like they can't afford to do something like this. So for me, I didn't even think about not being paid or whatever, being here on a Saturday, I don't care what day it was. Um, for me, it was important to kind of be here and show up for the community um, in, in such a special way. So that that self-image, being able to, to increase that confidence a little bit and then also learn, you know, there's so much that goes um, into this and, and making sure that we stay respectful. And what made you want to specifically focus on uh, the trans community here in Orlando? Seeing just the, the barrage of negativity that's been directed towards the trans and the LGBTQ community overall, especially in Florida, the just, you know, the culture war of it. I wanted to try and do something for those in my community, direct action that could help people, even on a one-to-one -one level. I like think it's a nice subtle one too. Yeah. yeah exactly. And it doesn't clash against my skin. <laughs> no, totally. Between the lights and the fancy camera equipment, the glam squad and this studio space, everyone got to feel like a star. Oh, that one's really nice too. But they didn't have to pay Hollywood prices to feel like a million bucks. So the True ID Project is a pay what you can portrait event series. If you've got two bucks in your pocket, I'll still send you out for the professional portrait. The people who are getting their pictures taken, what do you hope they take away from this experience when they go home and they look at those pictures that you took? Especially after 2020, I feel like more and more people in our community have expanded their friendships to people that they're never actually going to meet. We spend so much time on the computer. We spend so much time befriending and, and engaging with people in different cities, different countries. And for a lot of that, you kind of only have one image that you are representing yourself with. 
A lot of people will go for illustrations if they don't feel like the photos that they take of themselves match who they really are. But for something like this, I want this to be a situation where whether you're using it for LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, you know, whatever it may be, emailing it to friends and family you haven't seen in years, I want to send people off with a photo that they can say this, this right here, this is who I am.